Since iOS 14, Apple has been giving us a ton of options, and to be honest, it seems like iOS 14 is the kind of gift that keeps on giving. So I want to talk to you all about this new feature on iOS 14.3, which is changing wallpaper automatically and how I use it. One of the things that I love about iOS 14 is the customization options that Apple has been throwing our way. As somebody who was on Android and made a video about how to change wallpaper automatically on Android based on dark mode and light mode, when iOS 14.3 can do it, it only makes sense that I'm going to make a video about it. So here is that video. One of the things you want to do is make sure your dark mode and your light mode can be enabled automatically. You can do it based on time if you want to do it, but I would highly recommend that you do it based on sunset and sunrise. Now that you've made that automatic, let's go set up an automation in the shortcuts app but before we do that, you need to go download the wallpapers that you would like to use for dark mode and light mode. So one of the first things you want to do is resize your images or download your images in something to the effect of 1080p. Because if the image is too large, it might give you an error saying something in the lines of the image is way too big to be selected as wallpaper. All of this is irrelevant to you if you're going to be downloading your wallpapers from the links that I have provided in the description below or just any other wallpaper app because those because those image files are usually already in the size range of what shortcuts can handle at a time. I have these two wallpapers downloaded already and this, I don't know what's up with this wallpaper. This is one of my favorite wallpapers and has been in my videos I don't even know since like late 2019. It has to be my favorite dark mode wallpaper. I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out as well. Moving on, let's go to the shortcuts app and move to the automations tab. Here, you want to create a new automation by clicking the plus icon on the top right. Now select create personal automation and here we're going to select time of day. Under time of day, we're going to select sunset because we're going to change the wallpaper to dark mode at sunset. And now you want to select add sunset and then click done. At this point in time, you can just click next. You can repeat that daily and you can click next. Now you want to add an action, select an action called select photos. And now you want to have an action called base64 encode. And now you're going to have an action called copy to clipboard. This will let you select the photo that you want to select as your wallpaper and convert it into a bunch of text that can be converted into a photo afterwards. So you don't really have to keep the photo in your photo album. So once you run these tasks, you can see once you select the photo that you want to set as wallpaper, it will be turned into a bunch of text. And because we have this clipboard action, it's automatically copied to our clipboard. Now we can add an action for text. And here we're going to paste the new text that we just created. This text is actually your image, but it's just been encoded to look like text. So at this point in time, you can go delete the first three tasks that we added. The only reason we did this, the only reason I did this is to be able to delete the photo from my photos app. Now we're going to add an action called base64 again, but this time instead of selecting base64 encode, we're going to tap on encode and change it to decode. This will turn it back into an image. I want to set that as wallpaper using an action called set wallpaper. Now you can set that as lock screen and home screen wallpaper. You want to go turn off show preview and click next. Once you click next, you want to turn off ask before running so this runs automatically without you having to do anything for it and then click done. At this point in time, once your phone goes to dark mode, your wallpaper will change automatically. You can also do the same thing for light mode. What you do is you create a personal automation, time of day, select sunrise instead of sunset. Make sure you select the light mode wallpaper this time. This is all done and it's amazing. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope this video helped you in any way possible. And if it did, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching. This is Geet.